Hey, it's Evan. I got a great question from one of my YouTube viewers who is asking about Evernote and how to use it uh, with other apps. So Evernote is great in that it can easily connect with a whole bunch of different web tools and apps. I don't use it too heavily, but I wanted to show you what I do use it for and hopefully that gives you some advice for your, your life and your business too. So this is my Evernote desktop version and mostly I use Evernote to, to record things and then be able to have it on any device that I need. So most of my Evernote lists are, are just that, they're lists, they're ideas. So this for example is food, this is something I need to buy for the for my breakfast, from the office, for, for my home. Uh, and so when I'm at the store, I might, I might type this up on my computer and then I'm at the store and I can load it up on my phone and I know exactly what I need to get. Sometimes I'll use it in conjunction with my mobile device if I'm reading something. This is a PDF from Tim Ferriss's book, uh, The 4-Hour Chef, it's talking about cooking. And what I did was I took a screenshot of it and within my mobile device, once you take a picture of something or a screenshot, you can save it to Evernote. And so I did that and now I have this, you know, kind of point form, quick overview of, of his thoughts on cooking that I can load up anytime and it's on every device I have because it's within Evernote. So I'll just quickly click the share option and then go to Evernote after I take the picture. Uh, here's another one, again, from the four hour chef. Just took a screenshot, I like the page, so easy to remember instead of trying to write everything down, take a screenshot of my screen and save it to Evernote. If I go to maybe my business stuff for you guys to have a quick look, again, I'll use it for um, different, you know, mostly notes again, but if I find, for example, a magazine article that I wanna take a picture of, you know, I wanna save this information. So this is about uh, avoiding the tax man. This is an article in a magazine I wanted to save. I didn't want to save the whole magazine and I wanted to have, again, the information available wherever I needed it to be. So I took a picture with my phone and this is about setting up different structures so that you're not paying a lot of taxes. Um, this is for the Canadian government, for those of you guys who are from Canada watching this. And again, once I take the picture on my phone, I have the option to share it. I just pick business notes and now I have this forever in whatever device I'm on. I'll use it to take screenshots. So with my web browser, um, this is a, my process for when I create my webinars, for example. I'll take a screenshot of my Google Plus page and so it'll show up here easy to, to copy and paste a screenshot in. And then I'll also use the web clipper. So this is uh, an example of an article that I, I read, I think it was in the New York Times, uh, about what big companies can get from helping small companies. And it was a great article that I wanted to save, have access to whenever I needed it. And so you can use the web uh, clipper tool that Evernote gives you and again, automatically saves it to your folder. I can pull it up on any device, easy to search. Uh, and so that's how I, I use um, Evernote. So I don't integrate it with too many apps, but most apps that are out there have some kind of option to save to Evernote. And so if you ever need to save anything, if you ever need to have anything that has quick access to it again in the future, or if you want to ever be able to search something that you've seen before, then a great way to share it is to one of your Evernote folders and then uh, the information will always be there waiting for you. So here are a whole bunch of my, uh, if I go to my notebooks, this is for the book I'm writing, this is my business, this is uh, personal stuff, this is uh, for one of the investments I've made into a salsa dancing company, receipts that have all the scan receipts that I've, I've put in, uh, family receipts, guitar music, doesn't have anything there yet, memories, things I wanted to save, these are old pictures, clippings, uh, things that I, you know, turn into digital instead of storing actual pictures, recipes, salsa related to dancing, self-tracking experiments I'm running, running on myself that I want to see the data, places to check out in Toronto, which is my local city. Uh, so if I read an article or a blog post on some new store that's opened up in Toronto I want to check out, I can save it here and then I can pull it up on my phone and go visit the place. And vacation related notes, I'll save pictures and maps. And I actually just came back from a vacation from uh, in Europe and here's an example of how I used it and, and brought stuff in. So I was looking to go salsa dancing in Barcelona and I found three different salsa clubs. And again, I was just clipping tools, uh, clipping sites online. And this one was Mojito House. I took a clip of their website, the days that they were open, the times, and I can scroll down and I could see a map of where they were. And I was staying somewhere here, so you could see how far it is to get there. Here's another one, again, description map, another one, 
description and a map. And so I'll save all this information so that when I'm actually on the ground in Barcelona, I don't have data access without paying crazy roaming fees. I have all this information down. I know when they're open. I know information about the location and I can pull up their map and find out where I am and, and get there. And I'll do this often for any information I need offline. It's great for when you're traveling. This was my hotel. This is uh, directions to a place in New York that I was going to how to get there from my hotel, walking direction. So I love using this for travel. And again, this is just using their web clipper tool. So again, any information you need to save or search or have future reference to, there's, there's usually a tool that you can connect Evernote to. And I find it's a great way to keep track of your data, manage your to-do list, and uh, help you organize all your information. So I hope you guys liked this video, found it helpful. I'm, I'm a big believer in Evernote and I'm using it more and more for my, my personal life and for my business to keep track of everything. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up below. And if you have questions about how to use Evernote for your business, please leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to create a video response for you, just like I just made for the other reader. So thank you guys and I'll see you soon.